Hey, what's up, YouTube? Melanie back with Melanie Loves Death Metal. Special video today, doing another label spotlight, similar to what I did the Transylvanian recordings a couple weeks ago. Uh, today I'm gonna do Maggot Stomp. I feel like that probably needs no introduction into death metal, but a uh, really good label, puts out some really good stuff. A um, lot of really great modern death metal bands have been released through Maggot Stomp. So definitely, if you have not heard them, uh, go check out their band camp. I'll link everything in the description. Check out some of the stuff they have. A lot of their stuff sells out fast, so I don't know if any of these are still in stock, but if they are, I'll link where I bought them. In the background, you're listening to Gutted. I, I posted that tape a couple days ago. A uh, really good old school death metal album. It's a shame the band's not together anymore. Um, all right, so I'm gonna get started with the tapes. First one, I showed this yesterday, Unearnment, one man death metal bands, fantastic. Definitely still in stock, I know that for sure. Check this out if you have not. Uh, I'm gonna breeze right through this because like I said, I showed this yesterday in my video, just to clear tape. Really good, really, really good. Glad I found this. I'm actually probably gonna buy this on vinyl if, they, if I can still find it, but yeah. Really, really good album. Uh, definitely check this out. Just slam, slamming, I went to slamming death metal, that's that's wrong. Really great death metal, brutal sounding, just, it's, it's, it's really good. Uh, so the next tape I have, uh, so this one is insane. <laughs> this album is insane, it is just, it's, it's, it's insane, but it's really good. And that is Thetis uh, with the release last year, Shrines to Absurdity. Um, technical, insane death metal is how, it can, is how I can describe it. It's, it's all over the place. It's, it, it's chaotic, it's, but it's beautifully chaotic. It comes on this really cool translucent tape. Um, really good stuff. Uh, again, I feel like this was slept on last year. Not a lot of people put it in their year ends. Uh, it definitely deserves that spot. It's a very good album. It takes, I, I will admit, it took me a couple of listens before I really got into it, but as soon as I got into it, I got into it. Obviously I bought the tape, but uh, really good stuff. If you have not checked this out, definitely do so. Um, the next one is actually probably my favorite band on the label at the moment. Um, I love this EP or it's actually a demo. Uh, I think it's an EP. So I'm excited for a full release to come out with these guys, and that is Stabbed. <laughs> um, really great album artwork. Uh, if you have a weak stomach, I just don't even look at it. But um, Defleshed by Reptiles. Uh, oh god, this this is so good. This is some of the best like newer sounding death metal, like really gurgling vocals, just a plain tape. Um, really really good stuff. I I don't know. I just there's like some pick scrapes and there's some some pitch harmonics that are amazing in this song. It's good. If you don't slam your head to this and, and when you're listening to it, uh, that sucks because I think that this album, this this EP I should say is fantastic. Um, this sold out super fast. I don't think you can find this anywhere, um, but really, really good stuff. Excited to hear uh, more music from this these guys. Um, again, one of my favorite bands on the the label right now. The next is a split between Mortal Wound and Gutless. Um, really good stuff. I, I, I'll be honest with you, uh, I was not familiar with Gutless <laughs> when I first heard this. I knew who Mortal Wound was, but now I know them both. Um, and I'm actually on the hunt to find some more from these guys. Uh, again, stuff is sold out. It's hard to find. Um, but it comes on this really cool white pro printed tape. Uh, this is a really good split. Again, you know, brutal death metal. Might take a minute to get used to if you're not, you know, used to that brutal, like really, like gutturalish uh, death metal. Really good. This was actually the first uh, maggot stomp tape that I bought. Um, wanted the vinyl, uh, but I settled with this. I'm happy. Good stuff. Um, and then the final tape I have from Maggot Stomp is actually uh, a demo uh, from a band that needs no introduction, and that is Frozen Soul, uh, Cryptovice. Or sorry, Cryptovice is their <laughs> release that came out this year, Encased in Ice. So there are songs on this that are on Cryptovice. So a lot of times bands do that. They reuse the songs from a demo and they, they put it on to their full release re-recorded. Um, there's also a Mortician uh, cover on here. Uh, 
which is Coven, which is a fantastic uh, mortician song. So I will admit I bought this for that, <laughs> for that cover, um, because again, I, I have the full release and I have, you know, these songs on there. Uh, but yeah, Frozen Soul, good stuff. Um, this is pretty much sold out too, so I don't know if you can even find these anywhere. Uh, I got lucky that they found a couple of extra copies and they posted on Bandcamp and I went and got it as soon as they announced it. Uh, but yeah, good stuff. So those are all the tapes I have. Um, vinyl, it's not as much, but definitely worthy of a video. I'll start with the first one, uh, which I feel like now everybody knows who this band is. Uh, and that is Fluids. This is their first full length. Um, uh, exploitative, exploitative practices. I was going to say something else. I was thinking of their, their newest split that, that was released on Gurgling Gore. I was going to call it that, but that's not what it's called. Anyway, uh, like I said in my last video, really like fuzzy death metal, I guess you could say. Um, just there's samples on here that if you have a weak stomach, obviously it might turn you off. Uh, just a simple back. Again, fluids, I feel like, takes some people to get used to listening to. For me, I love them as soon as I heard them. Um, so naturally, I bought everything that I could. Uh, but again, they're one of those gore metal bands that use the, the gory pictures and the stuff that upsets people. Um, if you follow them on Instagram and, and you don't like that stuff, then you're gonna hate their Instagram account. Uh, in fact, I think that they've gotten in trouble with Instagram quite a bit for some of the stuff they posted. So they have like several accounts because one was blocked. I don't know. It's good music. The album cover's messed up. Hopefully I don't get censored <laughs> or up in trouble for showing this on YouTube. But yeah, really good album. Definitely, if you have not heard Fluids, give them a try. They might not be for you. I don't know. It's for me, I love them. Um, and then, of course, I got their recent EP that came out last year. This is Ignorance Exalted. Uh, yeah, it's eight tracks, so I guess that's not really an EP. I don't know. It's not. A, they're not considering it a full length, but whatever. Uh, this one I liked more than the first full length. Um, so, like, I guess I like where they're going with their newer music. Uh, comes on the piss yellow variant. <laughs> Um, I wanted the cloudy one, the cloudy like milk one, uh, and, and then I saw pictures of this and I was like, oh, that looks cool. I, you know, yellow, translucent, like I don't have many yellow vi vinyls. And then I saw pictures of the cloudy milk one on Instagram and I was like, damn it, I should have bought that one. <laughs> but nonetheless, still cool, still a great album. Uh, again, Fluids is that, you know, gore metal, gore, brutal death metal, uh, type of band. I mean yeah so similar to stabbed uh they use the really gory pictures um so yeah i mean if, if that's not your thing this might be a turn off for you uh i can ignore that stuff it doesn't bother me at all um so yeah that's fluids and then finally oh not finally sorry still got two more um i'm gonna show the next one which i showed in my last video yesterday visceral mass this is a uh, I think this is a demo or an EP. I don't know, but really quickly I'll show you. Amazing death metal, brutal death metal. I love this album. Love the green translucent vinyl that it comes on. Love the death metal sticker on it. Um, again, I talked about this yesterday, so I'm just kind of breezing through it. Uh, they still definitely have these in stock. I did check after my video yesterday, so I will link where to buy them. Get this album listen to it if you're in the mood for some, a new like brutal death metal bands this is definitely a good pickup uh to get i mean all these bands are they're phenomenal i brutal death metal is just one of those newer death metal genres that i'm just getting into and, and bag it's not just has gotten me addicted so um and then finally is my absolute favorite release that they have put out so far with the exception of Stabbed, but this is a full length. This band is incredible. It was one of my favorite death metal albums last year. Um, I still listen to this all the time. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if they're making new music at the moment. Uh, a member 
in their band. Um, unfortunately, was arrested during a protest in, in Portland, I think, or Seattle. Um, I don't know, whatever. It's political shit that I'm not going to get into. Uh, but hopefully, you know, they do start to make new music. I believe it was the guitarist of the band. So uh, hopefully they'll start working on new music soon. But um, a lot of their proceeds are going to his like prison fun stuff. Um, and that is Disembowel uh, with Echoes of Terror. Amazing album. I just old school sounding death metal. Really good stuff. Actually, not even old school sounding. Like this is just modern death metal that is perfection. Some of the best, best riffs, like death metal riffs written, the vocals are incredible. The song structure, the production, everything is amazing on this. So you'll notice on the back, one side is side free and then one side is gauge. So that's their member that's currently in prison. So free gauge, like I said, um, again, it was during a protest. It wasn't like a murder or anything like that. Nothing crazy. Uh, protesting, I believe, police brutality. Um, so yeah, uh, really, really good band. Amazing release. Just, I really wish, uh, or hope, I should say, they do make new music soon. Um, this is just plain black vinyl, so I'm not gonna bother pulling it out. Um, this sold out super fast too. Uh, they, they had color variants that I wish I had been able to get. Um, there's something in there that is causing this to not go back in. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a nice little postcard that I got, which I actually am gonna frame that, so I'll keep that out. Um, so yeah, Disembowel, really good. Like I said, I think their guitarist uh, is the one that was imprisoned. Uh, just to, what I was reading online, I don't obviously I don't know the full details, and I'm not going to speculate what's what's true or anything like that. But just from what I know, basics there was there was a protest, and and he got arrested during the protest. Uh, I don't I don't know if there was any sort of like legality around there around the rest like to me what i read it sounded kind of like bullshit and he should be free but that's my opinion um again it, it's in the press other places but from what i'm reading it's, it's pretty a biased press release so for me uh, with all the police brutality stuff that went on last year and anti-fascist stuff uh again from what i read the man should be free <laughs> my opinion just gonna say some people might disagree with me but yeah again Amazing band, uh, definitely check this out. Um, I think they still have black copies of this available or they've repressed a couple or they found some. There is a tape out there too. I've seen the tape being cycled around distros. Um, I know they sell out pretty fast. Uh, I came close to buying the tape too, just cause I love this album so much. But again, like, you know what? Other people should have a chance to, to hear that. So I, I chose not to. So yeah. it amazing album like i said one of my favorite maggot stomp releases so there are a couple of other maggot stomp releases that i haven't been able to get that i really really love um so i'm just gonna pull it up really quickly and talk about them on my uh trusty old computer here um they also you know they have really good merch lines they make like koozies and stuff like that uh so yeah currently right now which i'm actually probably gonna buy because i see it's still available is there is a promo tape for the band vomit forth fucking incredible <laughs> just gonna say that right now um amazing promo i know they're working on a full release i think it's coming out this year i'm hoping that it is uh really good in fact i see it's still available so i'm probably just gonna go buy it right now because i really want this in my collection uh that's currently on tape and i think they have it on vinyl um the other thing is if you're familiar with undeath which i feel like you are they did release a tape version of lesions of a different kind that's currently sold out everywhere but several other distros might have it right now so just so you know, uh, the next one is Sarcophagus, which I talked about in a past video. They have a two song promo right now on Maggot Stomp. Amazing stuff, sold out everywhere, but you can get the digital version. Um, the other stuff on Maggot Stomp that's really, really good. And I actually just saw a couple of distros get this. Uh, so I'm probably gonna go buy it now that I'm thinking about it is Command. Some more great death metal. Uh, check them out and the command is spelled k-o-m-m-a-n-d that was another great listen on there oh my goodness i forgot i i forgot a tape hold on <laughs> hold on 
can't believe I forgot this. I don't know. I don't know how I forgot this. I feel like an idiot. Uh, 200 stab wounds. This is incredible. <laughs> this is uh, an EP. Uh, it's called Piles of Festering Decomposition. This is so good. This is actually another one of my favorite releases. So two 200 stab wounds stabbed and disembowel are some of my favorite music right now. Uh, I listen to this stuff all the time. Really good stuff. Visceral Mass is really good. That Vomit Forth is really good. But yeah, 200 stab wounds, this is incredible. And I know that some distros currently have this. So yeah, I, I'll link if I can find it anywhere. I got this through uh, either Scumlord or Shrill Cries. I can't remember. It was not through Magastomp, but I got this through a distro because uh, it sold out so fast. So I can't believe I forgot this. I don't know why, how I did that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> really good stuff. Again, death metal. I just the vocals on this are interesting. It, it's it's all it's it's different death metal. Like it, nothing sounds the same, and that's what I love about this label. You know, sometimes some sometimes death metal can get really saturated, but they put out some really interesting and unique releases, really unique bands that have a good formula that are working. So this is another good. All right. So what else do they have on their label right now? Uh, Infestment is another one that I actually had on my list to check out and I know it's good that there's some, some vinyl available on there and there's a cassette available. Um, yeah, Church of Disgust is another great, great, great release. Uh, they have a seven inch, so it's, you know, it's not a full length, but good stuff. Um, again, this is a great, a great label. They put out really good music. Uh, some people, find them to be annoying but I don't give a shit about what they think um and then of course the Sen Sen Sugabog I think is how to say their name they had pornographic seizures released on CD on Maggot Stomp back like last year or the year before I can't remember um so yeah I mean really good stuff obviously um Gutless has a release on here uh which is really good and I see hey it's available well I might be making a big Maggot Stomp <laughs> Uh, <laughs> bye today. Interesting. Uh, and then Encoffinize is the last band that I'm familiar with on here. So Maggot Stomp, really good releases. Definitely check that out if you're not, if you've just been kind of avoiding it. Uh, definitely don't. Don't sleep on a lot of these bands. I think you're going to definitely find something in here that you really enjoy. Um, and I think the hype is, is worth what you're seeing on Instagram and other social media. Um, the sellout, it's worth it. Like everything I have, I enjoy, especially the one that I almost forgot. <laughs> um, really good stuff. So I'll link their band camp. Everything that I showed there is in the band camp. So I'm just going to link just the Magistop band camp and not do the extra links. I will look on a couple of distros and see if they still have some of these ones where I know that are completely sold out, uh, just to kind of help you out. Um, so these in particular, I know this is going around. I know this is available still. And I know that they still have copies of this. Um, disembowel if I can find something. Um, but yeah, Maggot Stomp, really good label. Check them out. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I will probably do another label spotlight. Uh, I buy so much modern new death metal, it's ridiculous. Um, so again, thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the support that I've been getting these last like two weeks since I've started this YouTube channel. Um, and as always, if you're on Instagram and you're from, are interested to see what I have in my collection, I post about two, two pictures a day, typically a vinyl, typically a tape. Um, just to show off my collection and meet more people, uh, have really been enjoying doing that. It's probably one of my favorite things to do at the moment. Uh, I've met a lot of really great people on Instagram. So follow me. Uh, the link is in my bio somewhere. I don't know where it is, but yeah, again, thanks for, thanks for watching. Have a great day.